everyone, it's Iman from Brooklyn Seeds, the kids nature and gardening program. When I don't know enough about a bird, I ask an ornithologist. If I'm not sure about an insect, I'll ask an entomologist. If I'm not sure about a plant, I may ask a horticulturalist, a botanist, or I'll go online. Let me tell you a story. I went online to find out more about a plant called evening primrose, and what I found was awful. I went to professional gardening websites, university websites, landscaping websites, and many of them said the same thing. They said, this is a terrible plant. It's a weed. We should destroy it. We should spray it with an herbicide. We should kill this plant. But no, 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 it is not a weed. Evening primrose is native to North America, which means it's an extremely important plant for the survival of native animals that depend on it, like the beautiful American primrose moth. When you're thinking about the showiest plants, this isn't one of them. But think about the animals that depend on it, like hawk moths. Sphinx moths. Bees, butterflies, and other animals that need this plant to survive. Remember, if it's a native plant, that means native animals have evolved with it. These animals will not just go to any plant to lay their eggs or any plant to get pollen. They need native plants like evening primrose. And even when the plant dies back and you think it's useless and you're tempted to cut it back, don't do it. Even in winter, it's an essential food source for so many native birds, like eastern goldfinches, which eat the seeds inside the dead flower heads. Evening primrose plants look different every year and season. It grows close to the ground its first year, and the second year, it shoots up and blooms. It has pretty yellow flowers or pink flowers depending on the species. I have a question. Do you like mosquitoes? I don't like mosquitoes. And how is that related to evening primrose? Think about it. Think about the connection. Evening primrose is an important plant for the survival of many American moths. Moths are a very important food source for bats. Bats do a great job of controlling and eating mosquitoes. So by planting native plants, we're helping native animals survive. But if we do what these companies tell us, which is to pull out these plants they call weeds, or we spray them with herbicides, or we destroy them, then we're not just destroying the plants. We're destroying the animals that depend on them. Do the right thing. Grow native plants. Brooklyn Seeds. How do I look? You look good. <laughs> okay. And...